the challenge of the Yukon. On King! On your husky! Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strong as Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog King met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. Old Michael LaRue was closing his trading post in 40 Mile for the night. A small bag of gold, his profits for the day, sat on the counter as he opened his safe. Just as the big door opened, he heard a noise behind him. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> well, I did not hear you come in. You want something? Yeah, we want something. Stand over here and keep your hands up. No, 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 you cannot rob me. <laughs> That's your idea. Keep them covered, Pete. Now get the stuff out of the safe. Please, the gold in that safe. It is not all mine. It belongs to my friends. They give it to me to keep. Do not take it. Shut up. We don't care whose gold it is. Hurry up, Joe. I'm hurrying. No, I say you will not. Look out, Pete. He's got an axe. What? Oh. I killed him. Take this gold quick and get out of here. I had to kill him or he'd have killed me. <clears throat> get to the sled, quick. Here, put it under these blankets. Oh, I... <laughs> there. Let's go. Mush! Mush! Oh, 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 oh. No. There's a man coming. I think I ought to take a shot at him. No. Keep going past him as if nothing happened. Too dark to see our faces. never going to get away with this. Look at the trail we're leaving. And a ten-year-old kid to follow us. That was a rotten break for us when it stopped snowing last night. But there's nothing we can do but keep going. We've been traveling all night. I want to rest. And we can't stop now. Why don't we get farther into the mountains? I wish we had a better dog team. These mangy curs ain't any good. Well, I hope that man we passed in town didn't get too good a look at him. Those three white ones could be seen in the dark. All we can do is hope he didn't notice us. Maybe we can hold up someplace along here, Joe. This big cliff beside us ought to have some cracks or a cave in it somewhere. Listen, Pete. I tell you, we can't stop. Another thing. I wish you'd throw that old pistol of yours away. If you're caught with that on you, we're as good as hung. It's probably the only pistol in 40 miles that shoots a ball instead of a cartridge. I'm hanging on to it. It's all I got to protect me. Oh! Pull your huskies. Pete, Pete, did you hear that? What was it, Thunder? Sounded like an avalanche up ahead there. Well, that ain't unusual around here. Them rocks and ice are always falling down the mountain. Listen. Yeah, dogs. Yeah. I wonder if someone got hurt in that avalanche. At least they ain't chasing us. They're coming from the other direction. It may be our chance to get us a fresh dog team. Now, come on. Mush, mush your huskies. man lying there beside his sled. Uh, the rock must have hit him. His dog team ain't hurt, though. Look at that dog. He's coming for us. <clears throat> Maybe you better keep your gun on him, Pete, in case he gets rough. No, no he ain't going to attack us. This is the one who's to help that man or something. All right, Mutt. We're going to have a look at him. <clears throat> there he is. Oh, where are you, Huskies? Hey, Joe, look. That's a mountain. Let's get out of here. Now, wait a minute. He can't hurt us. He's out colder than a mackerel. Is he dead? He's not dead. But he's got a nasty gash in his head. A rock must have hit him. Joe, come on. I don't like fooling around with the mounted police after what we just done. Come on, let's get out of here. Not so fast, Pete. He won't come to for hours. Not with that knock on the head. <laughs> he probably won't come to at all. Well, what of it? I just got a good idea. 
caught. They're trailing us from 40 miles right now. Here's our chance to make the trail end right here. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's take that uniform off of him and bury it. I'll take his park and put this one of mine on him. And we'll put some of our clothes on him. Then we'll leave our dog team here and take his. You mean, uh, they'll think he was the one that did the killing? <laughs> you sure catch on fast, don't you? And my gun. He's probably got a good gun. And I can plant this old one of mine on him. Now you're talking. Come on, we can work fast. I don't like the way that dog keeps watching us. Uh, he just wants us to do something to help. <laughs> nice dog. We're going to fix him. Don't worry, Pooch. <laughs> Big Dog King watched anxiously as the two men undressed his master. Sergeant Preston groaned as they moved him about, and King whined. He knew only humans could help Preston, and these men handled him gently. Then they turned Preston's dog team around and ordered him up front. King stood puzzled beside his master. Come on, you, up front. Hurry up, mush! There ain't any use trying to get him away. He won't come. What are we going to do? We'd better unharness our lead dog and let him head the Mounties team. It's better that way anyway. There's just a chance that the man who passed us noticed we had a six-dog team. If they find seven dogs, it'll look funny. You sure you buried those clothes? I buried every bit of his uniform. Nobody would know he was a Mountie the way he looks now. Oh, come on. We'll unharness our lead dog and get out of here. <laughs> He's going to have a lot to explain when they find him. I even left a bag of stolen money in his pocket. He'll probably freeze. I don't think he'll do any talking. There's a blizzard coming up. We'd better get out of here and find a place to hole in. Morning sunlight streaming through a window dazzled Sergeant Preston's eyes as he awoke. A sharp pain zigzagged through his head as he raised it, and he sank back with a groan. Then he heard the click of a lock standing over him. Well, so you finally decided to come out. Where am I? You're just where you ought to be, you thieving, murdering skunk. you jail. In jail? Well, how'd I get here? We trailed you. Your part got away, worse luck. Never will know how he done it. But you're the one that done the murder. We found a gun on you. Murder? What Murder? That rock that hit you on the head sure did things to your memory. I don't suppose you remember robbing and killing Michael LaRue in his trading post. Michael LaRue? Well, I know him, but I didn't kill him. I'll say you knew him. You better start remembering a few things. Who your partner was, for instance. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police. Well, <laughs> say, maybe it pays to get hit on the head the way you did. Well, I'm the Queen of England, bud. I'm glad to know you. That's King, my dog. Hey, he wants to get in a cell with you. They'd let him stay in a jail here. He made such a fuss. I must say he's a fine dog. It was on account of him we found you. A blizzard come up, and we were ready to turn back to 40 Mile, and we heard him barking. He didn't do you no favor, though. You'll hang now instead of freezing. Freezing would have been pleasant. Well, I tell you, I am, Sergeant Preston. My uniform... Uniform? What uniform? You mean them old pants you're wearing? What? These aren't my clothes. Who are you? I'm the jailer in 40 Mile here. And if you think I'm going to make a fool of myself telling you all the things that happened when you already know, you're even crazier than you're acting. Where's old Jake Taylor? He used to be the jailer here. Jake died six months ago. I've been here ever since. I ain't surprised that you knew him. You probably knew the jailer in lots of towns. You must listen to me, man. There's a mistake. I'll listen to you if you tell me who was with you when you killed Michael. We got the goods on you. Sam Jenkins saw you leave the store after the murder. He passed you. And he saw the three white Siberian dogs in your team, and they were with you when we found you. The gun that killed Michael was on you. Now, anything else you want to know? Yes. Is there a man here in town named Al Peters? Al Peters? Sure, he raises dogs. If you bring him here to me, I'll uh, tell you who my partner was. You will? I will. And, uh... Let my dog in here with me, will you? That I won't do. That dog stays in the other room. You might get some fool idea about sicking him on me. All right. Just bring Al Peters here. That's all I ask. All right. He should be up in now. I'll be right back. Hi, 
don't see why the man who murdered Michael should want to see me. I didn't have anything to do with it. I don't know why either, Al. All I know is he says he'll tell the name of his partner if I take it to him. He's crazy as a loon. Rock hit him on the head, and he got some fool notion he's a Mountie. A <laughs> Mountie? <Yeah. laughs> That's a laugh. Say, look at the crowd of men in front of the jail. Yeah, I was afraid of this. The boys are all mad because the savings were stolen. Probably want to string him up. Can't say that I blame him. Well, why don't you let them do it? He just killing Michael in cold blood. Well, I got to at least pretend to stop him. All right, what's up, boys? We want that scum in there, Hank. We're taking this into our own hands. The law's too slow. That's right, he's going out. Give him up, Hank, or there'll be trouble. Now, take it easy. We got to get some information first. We got to get the name of his partner. He's the one that done the killings. Well, I guess there ain't much you can do, Hank. Better open the door. Yeah, I guess I'd better. You come in first with me, Al. Right. All right, boys. All right, I'll open up for you. That's smart of you, Hank. Yeah, let's get him, boys. Yeah, let's get him. Hey, look at that dog of his. Backed against the cell door. Let's take a shot at him. Hey, hey, wait a minute, fellas. That dog busting. Don't kill him. I'd know that animal anywhere. Hey, King, come here, fellow. He ain't leaving that door for anybody. Hold everything, boys. That dog wouldn't guard anybody but Sergeant Preston with the mounted police. Al Peters, is that you? Hey, that sounds like Preston. Give me those keys, Hank. Eh? Yeah, maybe you got nerve enough to pass that dog, but I haven't. It's all right, King. You remember me, don't you, fellow? Well, sure glad to see you. You know me, don't you? Well, I sure wouldn't have. It wasn't for that dog of yours. For that three-day growth of beard, those clothes, and that bandage covering half your face. Hey, boys, there's some mistake. This is Sergeant Preston. Mountie? How'd he get here? Say, uh, I'm sorry, Sergeant. I had no idea you was... Quiet, boy. Quiet. It's all right. If you don't mind, I'll talk to you from outside the cell. The dog don't seem to like me anymore. <laughs> well, that's all right, Hank. Now, tell me just what happened. Maybe we'll know what to do to catch those thieves. That's all I can tell you, Sergeant. What's all that you've been writing down since I began to talk? Well, it's a telegram I want you to send to the authorities in Eagle City. These men are headed for the border. What do you tell them? You said you never saw the men. This is a description of my dog team. Sent it right away. I told him to watch for it and hold them in until I got there. Al, lend me your dog team, will you? I'll do more than that, Sergeant. You'll ride the sled and I'll go with you. All the way to Eagle City. In a jail in Eagle City, just across the border on the Alaska side, Joe argued with the United States Constable. But you can't hold us here. It ain't legal. You got nothing on us. We've been sitting here for three days, and for what? Just trying to go through your lousy town. The American authorities always cooperate with the Northwest Mounted Police. You're held under suspicion of stealing a dog team. That's all I can tell you. You won't be here much longer. Oh, look. That's the dog. Shut up. Hello, Constable. Did you see the dog team, Sergeant? Yes, it's mine, all right. We made out all the proper papers, Constable. Is it all right if I take these men now? Why, sure. Take us? Take us where? Back to 40 Mile. You're under arrest for robbery and murder. It was a clever idea, boys. But it's time you stole the wrong dog team. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WX1. All characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at this same time. Hugh Holder speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network. <laughs>